Why, hello there. This is John Henry Sheridan, your friendly neighborhood uh, peaceful guy. Uh, so I'm just coming to you as a resident of planet Earth in the year 2020, reaching out to wherever you are in cyberspace and grabbing your hand, a virtual handshake, whatever you want to call it, uh, reaching out, sending my heart energy to say, hey guys, chill out, relax, uh, things are fine, things will be fine, and in a way things have always been fine. Whoa, 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 before you attack me with the, uh, what are you talking about, John? Things are not fine. Did you look at the news today? Or No, I did not look at the news today. That's probably why I feel fine. So, uh, there's actually a message that I got from uh, an E.T. alien. That's how they signed off as E.T. alien, which was, um, you humans are so funny. Just, uh, you're always running around with, the f with your head on fire. <laughs> he said, stop running around with your head on fire. Take a deep breath and chill out. Uh, that's what the ET alien message. I wrote it down actually. Um, I'm not going to get it now, but that's the gist of it. That we always have our head on fire if we just sit down, chill out, and stop rushing around. Things will be uh, fine. So um, this is not to say that some people are not experiencing difficulty in the world, but I got news for you. Uh, that was my high school music teacher always said that. I got news for you. <laughs> Mr. Rams. Shout out to Mr. Rams. Um, I got news for you. Uh, as a highly sensitive being, long before this pandemic happened, I always sensed that there were people suffering throughout the world. So this is nothing new. Uh, it's just more amplified. But there's always plenty of suffering to go around. So this is... Uh, Again, this is not new. So, um, it is as real as we allow it to be. So, my um, offering for you today, my Thoughtful Pause series, is this. The inner journey is always available. The inner journey is always available. So, um... I've said this in a few videos recently. I'm always considering throughout my day, especially when I'm chanting, when I'm praying, I want to have a few moments to, I could, to myself to think about what do I want to say. And usually a video I watch during the day, um, an inspiring video may give me an idea like, oh yeah, that makes sense to me. I want to talk about that and make a video about it. Then I realized that that's their message. Uh, and I always have to really go back to my uh, source energy and say, what, what, what is meant for me to share today? And it's always related to the various bits of information I take in. But it tends to be, when I listen to my heart, it tends to be very more very more. Uh, it tends to be more purely from John Henry. And so the inner journey is always available. So what I want to bring forth with this point, with this thoughtful pause, is, is kind of what I was saying, that suffering is always present. There are people suffering, animals suffering, beings suffering, the earth herself is suffering, but this has been going on for, dare I say, millennia. So that it's just kind of reached the head in terms of people's awareness of suffering, that might be happening. More people are aware of how much suffering is going on, or so many people are suffering at the same time and uh, sharing their sense of suffering with the world, or I don't even 
I don't know. I'm not on social media much these days. But definitely, I'm not watching the news. Um, I get one, you know, one bit. I do subscribe to some news uh, in my email just so I can at least um, sort of prove to myself that I'm willing to be plugged in a little bit. But that that's more than I need. Uh, and that, that's all. Maybe I'll get rid of that too. It doesn't really help anything. Um, yeah, so the inner journey is always available. So what I always discover, the more I go out and seek for some sort of solution, or not, it's usually not a solution, right? Nowadays, I think many of us, myself included, I'll speak for myself, but I see it certainly being put out there. So if it's put out there a lot, there must be a hunger for it, it is sort of, uh, I don't want to say conspiracy theory because I, I'm certainly pro-conspiracy theory. I'm, I'm meaning that I'm pro looking at things from all angles. That, that's what I mean. So I, I don't just want to accept one point of view. So conspiracy theory is, is, is a label that tends to have a bad rap. Just like the word vegan, you know, has association. So for me, I'm sidetracked here. For me, being vegan is not important. What is important is eating the healthiest, uh, most sustainable way for me to live a fruitful, thriving life uh, with harming the, doing the least bit of harm possible <laughs> to myself and to other beings. That, that's what's important to me. And if that, if the word vegan corresponds with that pretty well, better than any other word, then so be it. That's how I look at it, okay? And so, you know, <clears throat> conspiracy theory is similar. Whatever that means to you, uh, it may mean something different to me or to the next guy. What it, it, what it means to me or what I'm looking for is I'm looking for alternative information that gives me a more rounded, holistic view of what might be going on in the world, especially since what I see in the mainstream media when I do encounter it is highly disturbing and it does not uh, jive with my inner uh, spirit my inner understanding of how the world works does not jive with that. But I have to say, okay, this is the world I live in, so I have to kind of at least try to understand it. And then, so then I look for other sources of information, alternative media, if you will, and then I get something from there. But again, anything that, this is what I want to say. So alternative media, conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it, other points of view, I welcome. I think this is how true democracy works and true dialogue works is you listen to what other people say, differing points of view without any um, insistence on uh, changing someone else's mind and without fear of my own mind being changed, understanding that I will listen and I will decipher the truth. I'll trust myself to do that. And being aware that we are sensitive beings and we can we absorb energy, so if something doesn't feel right, then we protect ourselves. Okay, with all that being said, <clears throat> um, the inner journey is always available. So what that means for me is you can go down these alternative sources of media, down the rabbit hole. You, we're hearing a lot of that, those phrase, that phrase being tossed around. You can go down the rabbit hole of, oh wait, you know, there is a hidden agenda. There is a cabal. There is these one uh, percent that's trying to control the planet or bioweapons or uh, that maybe um, global warming is uh, an agenda and it's only partially real. You hear many things, and I just don't know how valuable, like, that we're psyop, 
<clears throat> about the vaccinations. This all needs to be talked about. And I, I love that. I love YouTube for making this possible. I have to say that. Right? There's a lot of sort of anti-Google stuff too. And fine. That's definitely fair. But um, without YouTube, we wouldn't be able to communicate with each other like this. I'm sure other sources of media would become available. Or this is on Facebook right now, too. So Facebook, too. I have to be thankful that we could exchange ideas through these mediums. Okay, the inner journey is always available. Man, I'm going on so many tangents today. What it comes down to is no matter how much you learn, no matter, how, no matter how much I learn, right? No matter how much you learn, how much you think you understand about a sort of problem or whatever that might exist or appear to exist in our world, uh, the solution is always the same. The solution is always the same. So why, why do we insist on learning so much new stuff that kind of might be dark? Or just like make our real spin with kind of anger or emotion. The solution is always the same. And that is to go inside. To go within. To say, how can I improve myself today? How can I be the best human being I came here to be? How can I love myself deeper? Accept, accept myself on a deeper level. How can I then feel loved, feel accepted from my own heart and then extend that, that sense of security and joy that I've established within myself, then I could share freely. And sharing joy, love, acceptance, humility, and I say humility because that is a key factor that basically the understanding that I, I know I'm not better than you. I would say that's, in a sense, true humility is that not only do I act like I'm not better than you or, put, or like put on a show of it, but I actually know it. And uh, But at the same time, I know you're not better than me, you being anybody. We're not better than one another. So I think true humility recognizes that I'm, we're not, I am not superior to anybody, but neither am I inferior. In a sense, that's true humility as well as knowing that I can't do it alone. Can't do what alone? Can't do anything alone. Uh, in terms of like survival for the long haul, joyful, meaningful survival or life, we need each other. And I can't override that. That's the nature of being human. So the inner journey is always available. So no matter what kind of intense information we are getting, just remember the inner journey is always available. You can go in. I chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It works for me. If you want to try it, go right ahead. I highly recommend it. But some people prefer to meditate. Some people prefer to pray uh, in, in your religion, in their religion. Um, Meditating, in any case, is always good to just be able to quiet the mind and sit still for a while. It's always good. Just don't do it when you're driving. Or don't do it with your eyes closed when you're driving. Uh, but, you know, so and go inside and journaling, dream work. Bring the focus back on yourself in a loving, with loving curiosity. The inner journey is always available. By doing that, remember, hey, like, hey, I, I, I look at myself like, hey, my life has been very interesting, very challenging. I've had many time periods in my life that I would consider much more challenging than this time period. That's just my honest feeling. Doesn't mean that other people feel the same, but that's how I feel. So when things are getting riled up and stormy, I, I, I go within. I take a walk, I journal, I chant. Sometimes going within is not the only end. Sometimes you need to call a friend. Sometimes you need to talk to your parent or your spouse or child or, or talk to your neighbor or a stranger. 
Um, but from just a, just a human place, not a role. Just like, hey, we're in this together. You know, I'm trying my best. How are you doing? I'm struggling with this. You got any insight on such and such? You know, just talk to each other. Okay, that's it for today. It's been fun talking to you guys. Yes, I know. You noticed I have a haircut. I shaved my beard. Feels good. Feels good to shake things up every once in a while. Okay, until next time, be well. Remember, the inner journey is always available. Maybe you're getting freaked out. Just go within, however that is for you. Maybe you like to listen to music, watch some videos that make you feel rejuvenated, play pool, go for a swim, whatever it is. Till next time, take care, be happy, and smile.